Once there was a gardener. The gardener loved to plant flowers every year. The flowers were special to the gardener. Iris has made him think about his wife. So he always planted irises. Tulips made him think about his daughter. So he always planted tulips. And poppies made him think about his son. So he always planted poppies. The gardener took care of the garden and he made sure the seeds had lots of sunlight and water. After a while, he had a beautiful flower garden. But there was a dog in the neighborhood. The dog loved all of the flowers. But the dog didn't understand that the flowers were special to the gardener. And the dog ran around in the garden. And while he was running, he accidentally smashed all of the gardener's flowers. This hurt the gardener's feelings. And the gardener was sad. The next year, the gardener built a fence to keep the dog out. The dog loved the gardener's flowers. When the dog saw the new fence, the dog was sad. I really want to see the flowers, the dog said. Can I please come inside? These flowers are special to me, said the gardener. I would love for you to see them. And I can tell you all about them. But if you want to come inside, you must remember that they are special to me. I can remember, said the dog. The dog went inside and saw all the flowers. The dog remembered that the flowers were special to the gardener. The dog did not run, and he did not smash the flowers. Did you know that the gardener is kind of like Heavenly Father? Heavenly Father has created many things that are very special to him. When something is special to Heavenly Father, that's called sacred. The scriptures are sacred because they are Heavenly Father's words. Jesus Christ is sacred because he is Heavenly Father's son. A temple is sacred because it's Heavenly Father's house. The earth is sacred because it's Heavenly Father's creation. And our bodies are sacred because Heavenly Father created us to be like him. If we don't show reverence for sacred things, it hurts Heavenly Father's feelings. And Heavenly Father is sad. When Heavenly Father shares sacred things with us, He wants us to understand that they are special. Heavenly Father is happy when we learn to show reverence for sacred things. Remember that that which cometh from above is sacred and must be spoken with care and by constraint of the Spirit. Did you know we create lesson plans and activity pages to go with our videos every week? They're made by a professional teacher just for kids. Tell your teacher. Tell your mom. They're on our website. LatterdayKids.com